Hello. Okay, I guess I'll wait and see if anyone comes on. But um, I'm going to get started anyways because I think I'm going to publish this video. So um, the other day I got... Hi. Hello. The other day... Um, well, some of you guys may have already seen the Honey Bee Acres video that I put up yesterday. And um, actually this morning. Um, and um, I also got some Calico Critters. And this is my first time with Calico Critters. Hi, Retro. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Um, and yeah, so I want to see like if there's a big difference between Calico Critters and Honeybee Acres. And um, I think it's safe to say there's probably going to be. Um, but hi, Zach. How are you guys? Thank you for joining me. So, um, so yeah, I did the Honeybee Acres video. And now um, I thought it would be fun. I have two sets of Calico Critters. And I have a couple more that are going to be coming in the mail. But I'm going to start off with these. And I always like them. Oh, good. Nice to see you, too. Um, I, always, I always wanted to get these. But... I felt like they were really pricey. Um, so I was in Barnes and Noble today, and what I found was that, believe it or not, the sets like these are actually more expensive than if you buy like a play set. Um, which it doesn't make any sense. So this was this was $24.99. Um, and yeah, it comes with five figures so it's it's not a bad deal because you're getting a lot and you're getting a little accessory um but there was a cottage with a little mouse figure in it, or bunny a bunny i think and um in the whole set was ten dollars more than that so it's 35 dollars, and you got a, a, a dollhouse um so yeah it's it feels like these are, um, the actual figures are worth more than the play sets. And you would think that it would be the other way around, but it's, it's not. So, um, I have the Husky family. That is Nelson's favorite dog. Is He always said he wanted a Siberian Husky. I thought they were really, really cute. Um, so it's the, looks like the mom, dad, and then three little babies. And then I have, um... This one, this is the first one that I got the other day. Nelson got it for me. This is Apple and Jake's Ride and Play. So it's the mom, and her name is Nikki Sweet Pea Rabbit. And then the baby is Apple Sweet Pea Rabbit. And then this is her little friend. And his name is Jake. So, yeah, I think I'm going to open this one first. Because it just looks so cute. They're riding little bikes. They're in the park. Looks like they're in the park. Very cute. So what are you guys up to today? Did you have a nice weekend? I did. We went out today. Um, we took Elijah out to like this trampoline park. And it was it was fun. It was fun. I didn't I didn't go on the trampolines, but Nelson and Elijah did. All right, so, oh, okay, so I have them out of the actual box. They're still on here. Hopefully, they won't be, it won't be hard to get them out. Oh, so this fell out. This is, um, oh, this is awesome. Oh, I love when I get stuff like this. So, this is everything that you can get. Oh, my goodness. So Calico Critters has been around for years, and it used to have another name um, called Sylvanian Families. And um, you can still get Sylvanian Families, but I guess I guess the difference is the country that you're in. So um, Sylvanian Families are sold in other countries, and Calico Critters are sold over here, I think, in Canada. But um, they've been around since, I think, since the 80s. I'm pretty sure. All right. So, how cute. 
So cute. Hi, David. I'm good. How are you? Thanks for joining me. I saw a couple of your videos um, not too long ago. I went in and, and I showed your um, your channel some, some friendship a little while ago. Um, okay, so this is the mom. This is Nikki. And wow. Wow. She's fancy. She's fancy, you guys. So what I am going to say is that um, when I did the Honey Bee Acres uh, unboxing and review the other day, I loved them. You're welcome, honey. I loved them. Um, I thought they were super cute. Um, but articulation was weird to me. And so that's why I'm I'm moving our, her arms, her head, her legs, because I want to see what the articulation's like, because these are meant to be posed, you know, so, um, I can tell you right away, my first impression, my first, what, 20 seconds with this little doll, um, the quality is better with, yeah, if, if I change my mind, I'll let you guys know, but I can tell you already, even the quality of the clothing is better with with um, calico critters, um, yeah, definitely. Now, Honey Bee Acres is cute, and and I love it. And I'll probably get more from my collection, but um, the whole point of this was to see, because there's a big price difference between calico critters and Honey Bee Acres. Um, like I said, this set was twenty five dollars. Um, something like this with Honey Bee Acres would probably be ten or maybe 15. Um, so there is definitely a price difference, but I wanted to see why, and now I know why, because right off the bat, I can tell you that the quality is so much better. It really is. Um, but these have been around, you know, for a long time. They're kind of, you know, they're, they're the, I would say the leaders, I guess it's safe to say the leaders of, of this, you know, of this kind of toy. But Honeybee Acres is great too. They're very cute. I actually like the aesthetic a little better with Honeybee Acres because it's very bright and and they're like um like modern chic, I guess. Um is is what people are saying. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, this is um so we have a a merch store um on YouTube and you can you can get t-shirts and sweatshirts that say these cabbies on it um you can get coffee mugs tote bags things like that so yeah so i got i got a couple of hoodies for me and nelson and elijah so she's cute she's very cute um little tail in the back little bunny tail yeah her dress is really nice yeah yeah so far so far so good you guys now with all that being said, um, you know, about the, the quality and stuff, you got to keep in mind that when yeah, to have a, a set of dolls like this be $10, there's the quality, there's no way that they can make everything, you know, perfect. Um, where's my other... Where's my other little scissors? Oh, here they go. Um, so even though, you know, these are, these are more expensive for a reason, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, the calico critters, they're more expensive because they're probably a lot more expensive to make. And I think with honeybee acres, um, the only real quality problem I saw to be honest is um the, the articulation was really weird some of the heads were too tight some of them were too loose um but it is a it is a really cute brand and stuff but but calico there this is $25 for a reason I guess is what I'm trying to say um okay well Maybe I spoke too soon because this thing looks like it's breaking. I'm almost, I've almost got this car out of here. 
They come with little, uh, with little like ride-on play cars. There we go. Oops. What is that? Okay. So this. All right. So the little, um, the little chipmunk boy. This is <laughs> how cute is he? Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Look at how cute. Oh, my goodness. And this is nice. This is really, really nice. He's in a little car. Oh, my goodness. And he's so tiny. Look at how tiny he is. This is Jake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't figure out the camera height. Um, on this tripod that I'm using, so I'm sorry if everything is seems like it's falling off the out of the out of the view. I'm not doing it on purpose, but um, yeah, this is so cute. Yeah, this is this is really well made. This stuff is really well made. I, you can definitely tell. And this is Apple. Do you guys remember when Gwyneth Paltrow um, had her 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 daughter and named her Apple? That's all I could think of when um when I found out what this little bunny's name was. I'm like, oh, little Gwyneth Paltrow baby. So um, she comes with a little tricycle. So if you're just coming in, we have the mom. Um, I think her name was Nikki. And then we have her little daughter, Baby Apple. These are Calico Critters. Um, and this is Apple's friend, Jake. And, oops. <laughs> and he's a chipmunk. And um, this is the first time I'm opening anything from Calico Critters. And um, the second toy line that I've seen with these kind of toys. And I can tell you they're pricey but um the quality is amazing really really well made so good so so good i i love this car so much <laughs> i do and it doesn't feel like plastic it feels like um feels like metal yeah i'm sure it is some really high quality plastic but it doesn't feel like plastic at all and then again, we've got little baby Apple in her little trike. Yeah, really, really well made. Um, there's two other things for this set. Come with a, looks like a, um, is that a watering can and a shovel? I think very tiny. Everything's really tiny. Oh, yeah. Cute, yeah. So this is this stuff is plastic, but it's like really like heavy duty. Yeah. I figured there was a reason why this stuff was expensive. And um, yeah, and then the mom again. And the clothing is so good. I mean, so good. It doesn't look cheap at all, it doesn't feel cheap. She's got her little apron and you know sewed on and it, it's really really nice even the babies the babies are so tiny but everything is just like immaculate really um i don't see any any flaws at all any flaws awesome 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 okay so now i am going to um open the husky set did you guys like them did you think they were cute do you guys did any of you have calico critters i'm, I'm curious because this is my first time but i like them and i have the honeybee mm -hmm. acres village that i started so i'm gonna um I'm going to probably add these guys to that and then just like expand and have a little bit of honeybee acres, a little bit of calico critters, because they're all the same kind of thing. They're they're these little, you know, flocked animals. So this is the husky family. Oh, what are their names? Mother is uh April or Avril. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna read this to you guys. 
The mother, Avril, knows how to put her mind to something, and she's very good with her hands. She's an engineer who builds the cars Vincent designs. She has a wonderful workshop where she carefully builds every car so that it's just right to drive and ride in. Avril doesn't like the cold, so she always wears a soft, warm cape in winter. Father Vincent is a car designer, and he's very good at it. He's always coming up with cool ideas that everyone loves. He even designs sleds and bikes for their children. He's good with he's he's good friends with John Hazelnut Chipmunk, who's an inventor. So then you have the girl triplet Ray, um, is always cheerful and hardly ever cries. The boy triplet Drake gets scared easily. He feels very nervous when he rides in the front of the sled. And then the girl triplet Nellie, always on the go. Everything she sees is exciting to her. If there's a noise while she's sleeping, she wakes up right away to see what's going on. So we have the mom, Avril, the father, Vincent, and then Ray, Drake, and Nellie. That was a lot, huh? So, um, all right. They're so cute. And I just saw these. So this is the set that I got today at um, Barnes & Noble. And this was, so the first set I showed you was $24.99. And was it? No, nope, it was $26.99. And this one was $24.99. So, but you get a lot though. If you really think about it, it's really good quality stuff. And you, you're getting a lot. You're getting a whole family here. Um, so this is the mom, Avril. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the detail in this outfit, you guys. This is really nice. And look at the tail. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Oh, uh, yeah. The quality is immaculate. I'm telling you. Amazing. Amazing. So, um... Uh, in the eyes so elijah said that um calico critters are fancy and victorian style that's his take on them i know right vanessa isn't she oh my goodness i'm so excited right now i'm so glad that i got these i really am they're just so cute and they are very um how oh, what like they're rich, you know, they are fancy. Like Elijah said, they're very fancy. So she's got this um, little shawl on, this little fur wrap. And, and this has a little sewn on um, white, looks like a snowflake. Let me see if the camera's picking that up. Awesome. And if you take this off, she's got on this really pretty pink dress. It's got flowers all over it and then it's just so much detail in the clothes you know that's what I can't get over how um, nicely designed everything is and how well it's put together for it being on such I mean look at how tiny this is and then the babies were like this big you know and it I don't know they 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 do a good job but that's why they're the price that they are um, I can't get over the tail. <laughs> it's kind of reminds like yeah, it feels like a um because it can you can bend it and stuff. So it's like a, a pipe, you know, them little pipe cleaners that you use for arts and crafts. That's I think that's what it's made out of, but it's nice. Okay, so now we gotta get out Vincent. He's the daddy. And he's wearing like a plushy fur kind of shirt. And then he has this little gem right there in the middle. Nice. He's got, he's got the tail too. And then the plaid pants. I love plaid. Plaid is, I, I think plaid is really great. I do. I've always liked plaid ever since I was a little kid. So um, articulation, let's see. The head moves a little bit. It's not too loose. Um, the arms move. The legs and then you can sit them down like that. Awesome. Okay. Sorry if you're hearing my family. <laughs> They're being loud downstairs. Um, all right. So that was Vincent. 
Now we have the triplets. And I already forgot their names. I know one is Nelly. Um, let's see. What were their names again? Ray. Nelly and Drake. So the boy is Drake. And it doesn't say which one is which. So we know that this is Drake. He's a little boy. So cute. Like they're, you know, um, wrapped in, you know how when you bring a baby home and you swaddle them, that's what it looks like. They're in a little like swaddle thing, but I want to, I don't want to like mess it up, but I want to see, oh my goodness, dude, are they posable too? No, they're not posable, but the heads turn. So cute, a little husky baby puppy. Awesome. And then we have one of the girls. They're all wearing the same thing, just different colors. And then this little girl right here. The detail is amazing. They're so tiny, but oh, very well made. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Very well made, though. Very well made. Thank you, Vanessa. I think so, too. And then they come with this little sled. I, I love the accessories Um, in these, with these, uh, with these sets, because there's uh, tons of sets like this from Calico Critters. Um, but and I, and I love the animals, obviously. But I like that they add little accessories. Um, this is gonna be a pain to get out of here, though. I don't like that. They put like a like a bread tie. I'm gonna have to see if I can cut it. There we go. Yeah, they put like bread ties to fasten this in. Okay. So this is a little sled because you know um, the huskies are. Those Alaskan dogs, you know, that mush, <laughs> right? The sled dogs. So the babies go in here. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. And then you can have the mom, you know, or the dad pushing them. Hi, Stacy. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Stacy is one of our members. Um, I have, I offer a membership now. And um, Stacy is one of our members. And I appreciate her so much. And I, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, and I'm so glad that people are joining because it, it allows me to give you guys a little bit more and it helps us out and it's really great. It's pretty new. Um, there's a, if you're interested in it, there's a um, tab that says join when you go into our channel and it will kind of walk you through it. But thank you for being here. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm glad you like it. I am. Because I love, I love what I do so much. And it's because of you guys that I get to do it. So it's awesome. So yeah, we're um we're taking a look at Calico Critters. This is the first time that I've unboxed an actual Calico Critter. Um, so we we have the husky family. So it's the mom, husky, and little babies, three little triplets, and a sled, and then we have the dad. This is Avril and um, Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. And you know what? So I did a video. Um, and I'm sorry if you guys have to keep hearing this, but new people are coming in, so I want to let them know what's going on. So I did a video um, that went up this morning on Honeybee Acres, which is the same kind of thing, but it's pretty new. Um, the Calico Critters, these guys have been around since the 80s. So I wanted to see the difference, and um, Honeybee Acres is great, and I loved them, and 
I, I don't regret buying them at all. So please don't think that I'm saying that. But the quality of these, of the calico critters, is definitely much better. Um, but honey, honeybee acres is great too. So um, I don't want people to think that I'm throwing shade or that I'm going to neglect that brand for this one. I'm probably going to collect both, to be honest. But these are amazing. And they're pretty expensive. Um, but I can see why now. I definitely can see why. The clothing is perfect. Oh, that's awesome. So you have you have some of these in your childhood dollhouse. That's amazing. That's awesome. Um, my son Elijah was saying that the difference between these guys and Honeybee Acres is that they, they're fancy. And that they have like a Victorian kind of um, vibe, you know what I mean? And Honeybee Acres is kind of like, well, my words were for Honeybee Acres was modern chic, you know, or country. They call it country chic. That's what it is, country chic. And then I have um, this little bunny here. What was her name? Nikki. Nikki. And she has a little baby named uh, Apple, and Apple is riding her little trike in the park, and this is, what was his name? Jake. This is Jake, the little chipmunk. <laughs> it's so cute, and the accessories are really, really well made. Like, this, if you look at it, it's so shiny. It looks like metal, but it's not. It's like some kind of um, real heavy-duty plastic that they use. But it's really awesome. And another thing that I couldn't believe is, like, the detail in the clothing. Because everything is so tiny, you know. Um, the articulation in, in these is much better. And the clothing is better, too. But, um, but Honeybee Acres is great. They are, and, and they're so affordable. Honeybee Acres is so, so affordable. Yeah, they are very cute. They're very, very cute. So, um, did you guys do anything fun this weekend? We went, we went to the mall. We took Elijah to this trampoline place, and um, we had lunch at the mall and frozen yogurt and... Then we went to Barnes & Noble. That's where I found these. So we had a good day. We try to do something on the weekends with him. Some kind of family thing. Because the weekdays are so busy. He has school. And I'm always working on the channel. And Nelson works. So the weekends, that's when we'd like to take a little time. Just the three of us. And go out and do stuff. And the weather is starting to get good. We live in, in the Northeast. I'm in Massachusetts. So we get the four seasons and we're still dealing with winter, but it's slowly, slowly changing. Like today, I think it got up to like 50 degrees. And when, you know, when you've been in New England for the last four months, 50 degrees feels really nice because it gets down to like 10 degrees below zero sometimes. You went to a toy shop. Oh, that's awesome. Um, did they have yes, winter is yeah, definitely. So did the toy store did they have like modern and vintage stuff or or was it um just like toys of today? Cause I noticed a lot of toy stores, um, you know, the not the chains, but you know, the the um family owned or whatever you want to call it toy shops are um kind of putting like vintage stuff and modern stuff together oh okay yeah even in the malls um i'm finding toy stores that toy yeah toy stores that have like um you know vintage stuff like this one place we went to it was in the mall this is a couple months ago and they had like vintage Care Bear stuff in the box and um and then and and then they also had and oh and strawberry shortcake vintage strawberry shortcake but then they had the the brand new um monster 
high, um, what's her name? Um, Draculaura, the new, um, it was the holiday, the holiday one. They had her, they had some other Monster High stuff. So it was like a mixture, you know, old and new. And I, I see a lot of the toy stores are doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, and there's like in our mall, well, in one of our malls, there's like three stores like that, three toy stores that are um, owned by, you know, just regular people. They're not like um, toy store chains or anything like that. They're just like family owned. And it's the same thing. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of new, a little bit of old. So a lot of people are doing that. But everyone's realizing that, you know, we want to see the stuff from our childhood. And it's not just our generation. My son, who's 27, loves everything 90s because that's when he was born. That was when he was growing up. Yeah. Yeah. I And I love going to, like, flea markets because you can see, you know, the older stuff. And, um, and I don't just, I like, so I was born in the 70s, but I consider myself an 80s kid because I was... In 1980, I was eight. So I, say, I always say I'm an 80s kid. And I love seeing stuff from the 80s, but I also love seeing stuff from, from the 90s and the, in the 2000s. Because to me, that's still kind of <laughs> vintage, you know. And I love the toys that my son's generation grew up with. Like Bratz. I love Bratz so much. Polly Pocket. I love. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we've been on here for a half an hour already. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go, though, because I need to eat something. <laughs> it's been a really long day. But thank you so much for um, being here and letting me share this stuff with you. I'm really happy with it. So cute. So cute. Very well made. Um, if you're someone who's always been curious about Calico Critters, um, and you're just wondering if they're worth the money. They definitely are, I think. Um, and you know what? You can get them. Good night, honey. Um, you can get these um, on for cheaper, too, on Macari and, and eBay. And especially Macari. And if you don't mind, you know, getting stuff that's gently used, you can probably get these for a really, really good deal. Yeah. But, um, you know, after taking them out, at first I'm like $25 for a little set after taking them out and stuff and actually touching them and, and seeing the quality, it's, I think it's worth the money. I really do. Thank you, guys. I will see you in the next video. And Nelson's actually working on one right now. And we're going to be working um, for on, on a video for you. Stacy to for the membership and yeah, like an extra little something for you coming real soon. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for being here with me and um, have a great rest of your night. Bye.